Here with Jimmy Laycock, head coach of the William and Mary Tribe, 34th season as head coach of the Tribe. Thanks so much for joining us. My pleasure. Good to be here. All right. Last season, a tough 2012. So many close games. You lost six games by seven points or less. What can you take from a tough 2012 into 2013? Well, we're hoping maybe some of the breaks will go our way this year as opposed to the way they went last year. You know, you know, you, normally you look at a 2-19 and, and you think you're really a 14, but we were not a 14. We played well, we played hard and we did in a lot of ball games. But as you mentioned, it was just one thing here or there. And, you know, but again, that's behind us. That gives our, our players, I think, maybe a little more motivation to prepare for, uh, for this year. You should have a fun camp uh, this offseason heading into 2013 because you got quite the quarterback battle going on. Three guys took snaps last year that are returning. Rafael Ortiz, Michael Graham, and Brent Capria. Yeah, I don't know if it's fun. I, I kind of rather have an <laughs> established guy coming back, to be honest Speaking with the you. The competition, perhaps. Competition, yeah. We've had competition for a while here now. <laughs> it seems like, you know, I don't think we've played more than two games where we've had the same quarterback in there because of injuries. And, it's been it's, it's, it's discouraging for everybody, but yeah, all these guys will be back. They'll compete. We'll see how they go. Ortiz is coming back from shoulder surgery. Uh, Caprio is coming back from foot surgery, uh, and then we got a couple of other young guys that are going to get in the mix too. So uh, we have a new offensive coordinator in Kevin Rogers, and it's going to be his job to to try to uh, make a decision as to who's going to be our, our quarterback, and then and then kind of structure our offense accordingly. No matter who is taking the snaps for William Mary, they'll have uh, one of the best targets in the league, and that's Trey McBride, a consistent threat, 900 yards receiving, 10 touchdowns last year. Uh, what are expectations for the offense? Well, you know, offensively, you know, we've got to get, you know, starts with, the, you know, the quarterback, but Trey's a very good player. He's a, a big play receiver. You know, the challenge we're going to have with him is to be a, a consistent receiver to make all the catches and also advance some, some throws after a catch and all that. But, and then Keith McBride, a running back, is a, is a solid back for us, and we've got some very good offensive linemen led by, uh, Matt Krasoffi. So I, I feel like the pieces are in place in other spots offensively. Maybe not as much depth as you like, but it's kind of there for, um, for until we get the guy under center, though. It, it's going to be hard to uh, produce the numbers that we need to produce in this league. Well, we'll talk about the defense because you've got the duty of trying to replace an NFL draft pick in B.W. Webb, but you can do so knowing that you return seven starters, uh, two of them, safety Jerome Couplin, linebacker Luke Rhodes. Start with those two and then talk a little bit more about the defense. Well, yeah, the, you know, those are good players, obviously. Uh, Luke Rhodes, a linebacker, started his first game last year as the redshirt freshman up in Maryland, and you know, was all over the field. And you know, and then Jerome, his safety is as good a safety as we've had in a long time. And he's got, he's got a good running mate back here in Ivan Tago. So you know, we've got good depth back there. You know, we, I think the thing defensively, we need to get more production out of our defensive front. Uh, we've got some guys that were hurt that are back this year, but we've got to get more. Uh, disruption there, and then uh, find somebody, as you mentioned, for BW at that one corner. But I think we've got some good young guys for that. Let's switch it back over to offense before we send it over to Bobby. You mentioned the hiring of Kevin Rogers as a new offensive coordinator and quarterbacks coach. What changes will he bring? Well, he's got a vast amount of experience on a lot of different levels. He's been at Notre Dame, he's been at Boston College, Syracuse. He coached Brett Favre when he was with the Vikings. Uh, Kevin's been around a lot. But again, there will be some subtle changes, some changes that will be dictated more by the personnel than really anything else. It's not like we're going to come in, because he and I are very much on the same page philosophically, offensively. So it's not anything we're going to come in and put in a whole new offense or thing like that. No, we're taking what we have. We're maybe adding or deleting some areas. But again, we, the focus is going to be around the quarterback spot and putting him in a position that he can be successful. All right, thanks a lot for joining us. Jimmy Laycock in his 34th season coming up with William & Mary, and best of luck to you this season. All right, thank you.